Yo, what's up everyone and welcome to a game called To The Moon. I'm sure most of you guys know this game, it's a damn classic. Now before we start, I do remember watching one episode of PewDiePie playing this 8 years ago. I just went back and checked and I was actually like 14 or 15 back then. So I really want to get this experience for myself and I'm going to do it with you guys. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright, here we go. I know the song. I'll probably do this game in two parts. We'll see, though. I don't know how long it is exactly. All I remember is that I like two guys with memory technology. And that's about as far as it goes. I don't even know who these kids are. All right. Yes, this is what I remember. Damn, it's been so long. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. You kidding me? The bot's gonna kill us. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever verbal he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's go grab the equipment from the car and move already. Sweet. I'm playing with the Xbox controller. That works, it seems. Which is nice. Alright, get the equipment. We got the that. Got the sucker, let's roll. We're rolling. Alright, lock the car. How thoughtful of you. We put a boulder here. Maybe it's that security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jag it with. Wait, or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Okay, I just accidentally chose something. Alright, on three. Hey, that's, that's actually what I would've gone for. Push it. Oh my god, we're legends. Almost killed us. What? Slime? I, I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. We'll, we'll figure that thing out later. Right. All right, well, let's head in here. Knock, knock. There they are. Ma, they're here. Oh, she's looking. All right. What a big house. I'd never want a house this big. Uh, not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. <laughs> All right. Night shifts. Love him or hate him. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's really gonna be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. Don't forget the equipment, moron. Hey, hey, hey. Leave him alone. I don't get paid enough for this. What? You're carrying a box. I'm sure you get paid lots. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths. So what the fuck? Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. Hey kids. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny let us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Was this game made to make you suffer? That's what I want to know. I just know it's sad. I don't know what's going on. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks, when do I see you with insurance claim? All right, let's go up the stairs before I drop this. I guess that first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. What am I? You get the two boring notes anyway. What? Sick. All right. Nice little intro. I'm excited for this. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there were no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of the small meteor, I <laughs> Yeah, yeah, come on. Ready to set up? Set the machine down. Oh yeah, the reason why I bought this, I think, was because I heard there's a third one coming. I've no idea if it's got anything to do with the two other games, but it reminded me that I still need to play these games. I don't even know what Finding Paradise is, but I bought it with this. So if you guys want to see that, just let me know. Are you sure I come in household power outlets is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Are we though? Oh crap. <laughs> Standard procedures, just keep you on your toes. Bro machine how's he doing not so well if i were to say he's got just a day or two left that's plenty of time so you two can grant him any wish huh to try at least but we all succeed because we're awesome so what's the wish the moon uh the moon the moon he wants to go to the moon that's already the name drop i don't even know that the geese just keep on getting crazy huh what leave he's dying so can you do it it depends she meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? Uh, that, I don't really know much. 
Johnny is an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Uh, let's go Watts, just for some witty lines, hopefully to not make me cry after the first 10 minutes. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember you playing Watson. Eh, same thing. Just configure this, I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Here, take this. A remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. It's now activated in the menu. Okay, I guess it'll beep at some point. Uh, what you want? Show me around the house. Hey, your mom told me you could show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. M maybe. I think we just need a little bit more convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Heh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? Uh, we want one trillion dollars. I can do that. Just wait 80 years till you're very old on your deathbed and I'll come with a magic machine. Oh, the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah. There's a giant candy cane on top of the high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it fast and we'll give you the tour through the house. What do you say? Uh, well, <laughs> cut the crap and help. I'll get fine. You know what? You're lucky I don't want to walk upstairs or I'll just tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. It's almost like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. Well, let's go do that. That's not the kitchen. There's that candy cane. I'm not even tall enough. Take the damn chair. All right, turn on the lights first, though, before we do something stupid. Oh, nice. I love the fucking, like, soft, blooming light in this game. It's nice. Yes, that. Yo, I need it. Received candy cane. I got it. Booyah, it's like taking candy from an inanimate baby and then giving it to him too. Alright kiddos, I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it as a walking stick. Good one, man. Now what? Alright, where do you start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. Oh, really? We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. What the hell? What are you guys hiding? The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the shelf. I'm the thickest book in the shelf. Dusk light to the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. I mean, that's a classic. Yeah, maybe next time. I got a room key. Oh, easy. This better be funny as shit. Come on. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn lights before you trip or something. Fine. This feels like when my smaller siblings were small, small. The door is locked. Use the key. Damn right. Yo. There's like a cave in here. Boop. Okay. That's funny. Room. Is it paper or is it a rabbit folded out of paper? Ah. And a platypus. <laughs> what a hideous creature. Poke it. Ha. Take it. I got it. What are we using that for? I don't know. But it probably is something we can use. Oh, I'm just a thief. That could be it. We can know about all those rabbits. Nothing. The old man didn't want to anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. Wanna go see? I got the keys. Why do you have the key? Okay, let's just go. Remind me to never keep any lock cabin around you two. Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Go see it, of course. Oh, to with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mayor Wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick some butts. Don't think that's what we're doing. But maybe. Turns out to just be an ARPG. I think I was up here, right? Yes. Love the landscape in this game. So pretty. We need to head south to the street and take another path to get down, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. What a dangerous place. Look at this. But I fucking love it. It's here. What? Oh, the rock? My novelty beach ball. I... Alright, man. Oh. It's stupid anyway. Well, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. Fine, I won't look. Ah, oh, you've hidden it good. Right, now let's to the thing. It's smoking. What? Oh, the car? Who's the dummy that crashed that car? That was, uh, Dr. Rosaline. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosaline. Tss, tss. Hey. What? I was kidding! Okay, I... We're not actually fighting, are we? What? Don't worry, kids, I got this. Good music. What? <laughs> Throw as you at it. Loudest. This ends here. Yeah. Stop it! I'ma tell Ma your animal abuse. 
Oh yeah, we already killed one though. Oh come on, I wasn't actually gonna do it. Don't you like role playing? Let's name it Teddy. What? Okay, let's just go. My whole night is ruined. <laughs> oh hell yeah, that's a moon. A moon. What a place actually. Apart from the big house for no reason, it seems like a cool ass place. What's this? Can I talk to it? In memory of River E. Wiles. Oh, is that the wife? Was she John's wife? Don't know. This is it. How many are there? And why? What's this? A multicolored one. That one's cool. This wasn't here once we came here last week. Oh, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these, though? Yeah, you are. Yep. What the? Someone's calling me. Oh. Ack, I should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's head back. What? No, I want to see more. As for this... I'm taking it. Damn right. Okay, we got a platypus and a multicolored rabbit origami. What the cactus were you doing? Uh, burning ants with a magnifying glass. Using moonlight? Uh, okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. You're pretty good at being half of it. Okay, it's kind of rude. The helmet's on the couch. Get it on. We're going in. Oh, we go in. What fucking link start? So what, we go inside his mind and... Like, what do we do? Could do we, I thought it was like a memory thing where we go back and let him relive his old memories. But it's like a thing that can grant you a wish inside of his mind. That's very interesting. Oh, so we go backwards instead. Ah. Yeah, it is memory. So do we change his memories? I don't know if I'd be satisfied with dying knowing I just altered things I regret. It should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. I see. This isn't too long ago. Oh, there he is. Maybe? Oh, no, they're both there. Gotta love piano music, man. Too much. Johnny? So is he also in here? Or is this just like we are playing with how it would have went? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, give us some tea, please. Lily? Okay, so this is... Yeah. So he's in here with us. And experiencing the things again. And we can alter things, probably. Actually, you've already called us. That's really fucking cool. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. That must be scary, man. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Yeah, it's just a program, you know? I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste your time like that? You. You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for us to help you get there. Do you want to get the fame, the money? You've got to have a motive. Maybe he just wants something else. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just do. I can tell this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We need to get to your childhood, but it's too distant to do so in one memory hub. Thus, we'll need to traverse through- Oh, Wait, that's fucking cool, what? So this memory of him knows more than, obviously, the one from the future because you forget shit. And then we jump and jump and jump until we get all the way back. Which you've given us permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we'll return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Man, these solutions are very flexible in this job than Jesus Christ. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I'll cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a mento of some sort to get us started? Hey, it's the multicolored thing. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Received note moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Prepare. Wow, we're doing it. 
What's this? Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip pieces. Oh, activate. Wait, what about my privacy? We're trying to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can be helped. We out. What the fuck was that shit? So that takes us here. Of him there with a the platypus as well. Turn off the visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Jeez, I've got to ask him about all these rabbits. This is creeping me out. We should probably have checked his record for psychopathy first. Fuck you say to me? What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of his memory. Oh, okay. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. A glass bottle of pickled olives. I hate this stuff. What's to hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly. Um, what else we got? The umbrella, probably? Oh. What? what wait, what? Oh, we need... Oh. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. What? Danish guy? He's like Denmark's most famous... Writer, author, the guy behind Little Mermaid and Ugly Duckling and stuff. We read that in school. Finally being Danish can do something. Hadouken! Ah, uh, yeah. What the fuck was that? Uh, what? That's it, I'm doing this from now on. What do you mean? That was sick. The corn orb can flip the thing diagonally. Yep. Activate. When it comes to rain, through is better than on to. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento or it's going to take forever. Yeah. Man, just enjoy the scenery. Hey, man. Oh, found two. An old stuffed platypus. Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. It was not big enough for two of you. And yes, that is the memory of River E. Wiles. It's finished, River. Finished. Is it? Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. You won't be alone anymore. Hmm. I might never understand why, but I stayed true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you, too. But when I'm gone... Who's gonna watch over us? Hmm. Who are you? My name's Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes, her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm? She... She didn't need to do it. But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. Aww. Now imagine this, but without the ability to get someone to just let you do your wish. It must be so lonely. I can't even imagine. About time you got here, I almost thought you fell off the cliff. What are you doing? Enjoying the scenery, what else? Any luck here? Big luck. Huge. Dinosauric. Ah, oh, this place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse, what do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier yourself. What's this? Huh, oh, he looks away. Ooh, Jesus. He does not want to accept it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, we're now in his older age, but not old. <laughs> Just enough. Okay, so this is before she died. After you pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it, so don't... Don't tell me she rejected the money so he could live better. White lie. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm, I'm sure we can just... Stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this... This is too much. I mean, she... She isn't even... Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help with it. River. When the papers for my treatments get here, I'll not sign them. God fucking damn it. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live here, I want you to watch over her. Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. I'll be happy. 
Johnny? Yes? I need this. Oh, tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit like all the others you made. What else? Um, it's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, river. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. What? But would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. And that's of course the song. It's called Forever. Why so cliche? It, it's just a placeholder. There it is. Who is this Anya they were talking about? If she's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Unless... Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You wanna hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? I'll stay and explore. Quickly. Don't you miss the days when memory auto to MP8 conversion was legal? Got them MP8. Hey, the Emperor's new clothes. Small pickled olives. Someone really likes these. And some mixed dough. Nicholas. I'm telling you, there's just no way. Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay you for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. Hmm. Maybe they just named the house Anya or Anya. All right. Let's get out. All right. Moving a little bit further. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jumping, guys? So it's blocked off at this point. Oh, so they're building the house here. Hey, look what we have here. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. Isabel. Nick Colton said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Oh. Will she be okay? Helen's was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you gonna do now? I'm... I'm gonna tell her that we can make it. I'm gonna tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure what she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. What the fuck? I mean, to some extent I get it, but also that's... How would anyone other than that person accept that ever? A materialistic thing that means a lot to them? Or the literal life of the one you love? Like what? It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think that you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? That's what I'm saying, like... What? Is he just gonna live and be- Yeah, exactly. All alone. I don't wanna be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm gonna pick up something from the cliff to bring back to her. At least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. Music box. Oh, there's the song. Jeez. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. I mean, yeah, you can't control everything in your life. In fact, you can barely control anything in life. He stood there looking at a purple flower. So you're really going for it, huh? Yep, that's a construction starting in just a few months. It's just a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment. But while financing will make do. Wonderful. How wonderful. Having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at the lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. 
Well, it's good to have some good news that it's a get together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Hmm. They definitely went out there and spoke about something. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Isn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That room is still so quiet, huh? Yeah, she said she'd been talkative at home and with Isabel. I guess it, she's just not used to you. Haha. <laughs> So I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how'd she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Huh, I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes, she said you talked to her about it, but got nothing. Hmm. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. Because even he never knew what was up with the roast rabbits. Forget about the stupid rabbits. We've got a bigger problem. It's a confined memory, and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can just probably just draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta visit the bartender a quick. What? <laughs> okay. Hey there, could I get you something? Hey, could I get a bottle of A? Sure, cash a credit. Check. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't do checks. Oh, uh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hello, uh, could I get a bottle of big old olives, please? Just put it on my tab. I feel like sending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, you pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. Nice, we did that. Yo, I got the stuff. Are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, uh, well, yeah, that sounds... Well, Eva, disable taste simulation now. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how you get our first toast. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, God. Ah. You okay there? Yes, it's. I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time, we've got two bottles left. We're doing it. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. Nice. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Uh, yes. You actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. Alright. And freeze. Good job, what? Finally, dear god. How about the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Hulk smash! You did it. Neil, seriously? Activate. We're doing this. Crikey, not crackers. You... You're an Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not that you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's freaking skydive. You can't stand here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. Oh, fuck. That'd be so fun if you could jump off shit without anything happening to you. Either what the fuck? Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. So that's Anya, the lighthouse? No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River, this place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be this. We'll be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at the night, and we'd always be nearby. And we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they're happy. Exact. That's beautiful right there. You never know what's gonna happen, so I might as well just enjoy shit as it's happening. Let's move on. Hell yeah. Wait a minute. They're referring to the lighthouse Anya, weren't they? 
I suppose so. Then that river, she inked the climb treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. There we go, got two more. Where's the memento though? Is it this? Bop. Hell yeah. We are now... Oh, that was a pretty alright leap. I like that they moved this thing upstairs. Who knows, but I bet to be a piece of game for the TARDIS. Not really, you can't even get it through the door. Hmm, true. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me... Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? Hey, it's like she did later on. A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. What? That's so mean. I know I also describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd, even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Alright, we got a bucket. They are strange. Okay, so she cut it herself. So this is the day she started it, huh? Oh, hey, a car with the platypus. Is there anyone here? This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really. What is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Acrophobia. Right, what we got? Oh, there they are. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's... It's not too relevant anymore. But as you said, I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Nope. Chicken. What's that? A haggy sack? Can you throw this as far as where Enya's at? Oh no, but you want me to try? Would you? I mean, sure. Just throw it in. That's not even the real direction. River! Are you insane? Get away from there! What? I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they might be connected? Probably. Why'd you cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. But I like it, so why did you? <laughs> Silly guy. Activate. Backpack. That's the same backpack that was at their bed. Everyone with it is different, John. Okay, so this is when it was first thing, I guess. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though being able to articulate is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Hmm... It's just overall, like, it's so sad. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed with it when I was very young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Right, so you're putting on a facade to fit in. Not only on stage, but off stage and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me. Yeah, but River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act and the real me has long become a stranger. I think, in the end, I just envy her. That is an interesting way to look at it. Ah, I've never met a woman with it before. And technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business, let's move on. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's new clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. I have so many things where I feel like that. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. I know, your mom gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Oh yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with this when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? 
Hmm? I saw them, they're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I'd just rather them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books, right? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm gonna get this one. Yay. I'm not yours, but you're mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. <laughs> River? Oh, that's sad, dude, because it's like the opposite of what it was in the future where we were earlier. Where she for once was like, why is that so cliche? So all the way through and all the way to the childhood, I feel like John doesn't truly understand what is like really going on. And once it was too late, he just regretted everything. And his dream became the most childish thing of all time, which is to go to the moon. Which is a contrast to how we've seen him now. And kind of also the way she is acting with this condition. What about David? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Any more? So you read it? Yes. <laughs> really? Sort of. Oh, oh, do you know what animal is David's main morph? Oh, here we go. I've never read that. It wasn't a thing here. It's an animal with five, though. So it's gotta be... Monkey. Nah, what about... It's probably tiger. Or... It's the only one I can think of, anyways. Is that it? Doesn't sound right. What do you mean it doesn't sound right? Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger. Oh. David, Cobra. Ah. But Jake has a tiger. I was close. Her memory is sick, though. She's just acting very, like out of here you know not actually it's hard to put it uh she's acting kind of distant but she's still here and she's still like human smart but her social skills aren't up to par and all that all right where's the memento I didn't find it oh jesus i got jump scared into <laughs> the moon and this is here which is oh that's a big one now we're back in his youth almost oh, everyone's leaving already but i just got here seems to happen to you a lot at parties oh go save your charge jabs for the insecure more pickled olives this guy's eating a piece of leaf <laughs> so they just used to come here all the time do you feel any different now that we got the rings on i mean no why do you uh actually yeah i think so what is it like It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Hmm, yeah. Anya's a good name for her. Hey, uh, come with me. A nice dress. Oh, it's the same colors as the rabbit. It's like, in a way, John didn't really prioritize the important parts that were more important to her. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Oh. Ow, <laughs> my ass, there we go, nice. Finally some content. <laughs> That's so stupid. I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. Do it again. They probably dance so much. What the fuck, that would fuck you up. She even got buried right where they got married. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and health for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you and be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise the love and comfort, blah blah. Oh? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I like that actually. It's just like a childish answer. But it works the same, so what is the point in changing it? Little nice detail. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Ah. Uh, so I wonder why Anya was such a big name. You'll probably find out when we get into the childhood stuff. Fuck, the wedding. Uh, yeah, what did you think it was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. <laughs> I didn't know that you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. And let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy really is putting you off, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Ooh. 
That's a statement. <laughs> Sheesh, what happens? It's just take it by moment by moment. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey, huh? Okay. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as a nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Is he trying to, like, escape the past? Ugh, not, not a sentimental grandparent childhood. What if he gets those anyway? I mean, you should talk a lot about your grandfather. What? Nah, don't. Whatever you say. Got a note of Joey. Oh, I'm so proud of Joey. Well, good. What's going on? Oh, oh, okay. A dead rabbit. There we go. You can't build river. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? I think this is the source of all those folded paper ones. Why would she just obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You're the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. You're fucked. Come on, we're late. All life is precious. You know it's a fantastic wedding when the memento is a roadkill. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for terrible marriage. So years later, she began filling the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or maybe, uh, I mean, or like, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. Now we a child, teenager guy, or young adult, maybe. Poor thing, what's with all the road kills today? What is this? Horse guy? Whoa. It's moving. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what? Don't not ride this horse. What are you, five years old? I will not ride it. Nice. Yeah. Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh crap! Help! Do something! Don't just stand there! Help me! Damn it! This was not in the job description. So we can assume she's very fond of animals, or just life in general. Here she is. But she's never done it by herself before. Oh, she's gonna be a natural, 100%. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! Ah! River! And here she goes. She knows what she's doing. What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! Oh, I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. <laughs> Why is it blue? Am I going on a horse too? Oh, here we go. Better save his bum. Oh, horse. Whoa. Oh, fucking knocked his ass out. Thanks. He yeah, found something here. Yo. Where am I? What, how far did you get knocked over? Where are you? What? I fucking owned you. Oh, we're all five. How many eggs are in this game? Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now, just don't elope with it. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation? Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. Hmm. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'll help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why's that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. You know, I, un I understand that. Like, he's trying to, like, escape all this, but that doesn't work. Yeah, this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She still got bad taste in animals, though. Little guy? Psst. Look, I know, I can't believe you once paid to see this crap in the theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. Holy overcooked macaroni, the kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? Oh, he's looking around. <laughs> Wait, is he here? Oh, I thought he said to fall asleep. And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. QED. Come on, let's go. What? Alright. Whoa, wait, I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grandma, my dear Watson. Nice. What's going on? Why is it like... Oh. What? She was there? River? Uh, you, you were there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why'd you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. No, I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I, I didn't even know you were there. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? You're watching the same movie in the same room. So why does he like... 
Okay, I was literally about to say, why does he like, like, not that there's a problem with it, I'm just asking, like, what did he see in her? Because he doesn't seem that interested a lot of the time. But I guess he liked that she was a little bit odd, which is nice. Ha 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 ha. What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie any together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in there before it ends. No, I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, that's so about rides waiting for us in there. You know, I think this platypus is screwing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. Hey, we're at school now? Come on, dude, throw some balls. Oh, he's about to ask her out. Um, it's not that, uh, look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, shush, what could possibly happen? Just think about it, the worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened, no, no, and everyone still think you're cool. But what if you tell someone? Or yells at me. Don't be a little wuss. Or she says yes, but really means no. Psst, quit wearing Who would do that? I want she froze an encyclopedia on my face. I don't even have a helmet. Oh, dear lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. Everything will be alright. Will it, though? Will it, Nicholas? Hey, what are you? Shh. Uh, um. Hello? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> yes? Then why didn't you... Uh, never mind. That's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? Let me guess. A book. Okay. About platypus? No? Oh, uh, I think that's great. <laughs> Lighthouses. Huh? There are exactly 16 second order Fresno lens lighthouses in the country left. Now them are coastal and one of them was modified from historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Conversation 100. Um, say you wanna go catch a movie together sometime? Uh, that, that's okay, I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Uh, why? There's no date or time. Oh. Oh, um, how about the Saturday date? System fro Yes. Oh, uh, great. Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. Give him a break. He was still just a child. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. What the heck are we doing in there, dude? Uh, well, what? I, I asked it out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and be all like, Hey, you, go out with me or whatever. That's just terrible. I know, and it would've just still been better than what you just did. Dear lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Oh, come on, man, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You get good if you practice, you know? Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Maybe you should have. I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Leave alone. Fine, I guess I'll have to. You made the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's they Okay, yeah. So she's really, like, book smart and can remember a lot of shit. Good luck. Does everyone with her condition have a near photographic memory? Not really, though. I think their rote memory is often fairly strong. It is very interesting. It's scary, but also interesting. Alt tab, alt tab. Ooh, close one. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. What? Leave her alone. I mean, just look at her. Got platypus, that's sick. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. It's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Could make enough words. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. Ha, huh. I know, isn't it cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of thing, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang out with the emos and goths? No, no, no. You become one of the emos or the goths. Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot too. Look, Nick. I just I just don't want to be another typical kid in the sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being straight isn't always a good thing, you know? Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. Ah. Huh. That's what I said in the very beginning. Do you want her for what she has, but not for her? Yeah, that's a fucked thing. <laughs> that's cold, man. 
I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. And maybe grandmas have some damn wisdom. They've lived for fucking so long, probably, maybe. Wait, so this guy's some kind of human-hugging hipster? That's sort of disturbing. You know, sometimes I just want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's a bastard. <laughs> Not entirely false. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff? I guess so. I mean, that makes sense. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, alright? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago? I guess she's really good at holding a grudge. That's not it. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then you'll get ahead, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. Ka me. Oh, for one like sake. Ka me. Hey! What, let me finish. No! Oh, not cool either. You never fucking block someone in the middle of Kamehameha. What? <laughs> Looks like Aaron and Armin. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy growing up so fast. He doesn't like being called Joey. Maybe that's what it was when he was a kid. It was like, he always got compared to and needed to be like someone else. And felt like he was just the next person, but he wants to be his own thing. Ah, what if he was a girl? What, would she still nickname him after his grandpa? We okay, got them all and it's a football. Well, we're going all the way back to childhood now. Okay, where are we at? Are we all the way back? Oh. Fuck, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Yeah, what the hell's going on here? I'm in white space? What the hell's that? What's what? Oh shit, wait. Is this just that the memory doesn't go further back? Oh, is some shit happening to our machine stuff? Well, that ain't good. I wouldn't go so close either. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the device's ADG. Again, I thought that last fix was foolproof for another half year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage here saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do from here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. Oh, what a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Yeah. The ultimate one will be when Watts actually gets emotional. <laughs> Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. Okay, so we're back at the first one we went to. I see. And that's all this old fool knows. Heh, <laughs> sorry I can't be of any more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Hey, all that's left to do is link in your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. Of course, this is just that phase where it's like, oh no, we can't do anymore. And then suddenly it's like, whoa, we can do more? I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. That's what I thought we were going to do in the first place. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? You're just like a, an image, a copy or whatever. Yeah, just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Journey. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is to prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that will then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could just reset over and over and... That's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not really, no. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Hmm. I like how their roles are kind of like getting closer to each other. From where they started. Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Hmm. Wow. What? Overworld? That's all our night's work, so it's all the things we got from all the places. Do we have to revisit or change things around and shit? So that over there is obviously gonna be opened at some point. I am a ghost. What the? 
Uh, at least give me a warning first. We're gonna say I like being ahead. And quit while you are. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly in this phone as it is. All we need to do is pass his desire from the latest memory to the earliest. And I'll do that in the next episode. So this is a pretty long video, I take it. And as I said, it's going to be a two-parter. So if you want to see the second part of this game, please leave a like on this video and let me know in the comments as well. Or just leave anything funny. I love reading them. Check out my Twitter and my second channel. Of course, subscribe if you're new around here. And as always, my name is Smith. And thanks for watching.